For dinner, we tried going to a famous kyukatsu place, but after waiting almost two hours, we were told the kitchen was closing, which was pretty annoying. So we ended up getting ramen instead, which ended up being pretty delicious. If you want friends, The next morning, we went to another Kikatsu location, and this one was in Kuraido, inside of a commercial building. And we went at 10.30 in the morning on a Monday, and there was no wait. Literally, we were the first people there. So I definitely recommend checking out this location for Kikatsu. We're eating pre-deep fried beef Kikatsu. Uh, they cook it until it's medium rare, and then you get to cook it yourself on these stone grills. Here is some carrot ginger salad dressing, I think. It's really good guys, so I'm just gonna go ham on this. This is the tororo, which is a grated yam. It has a sticky substance, and the mentaiko, which is a cured cod roe, and some mochi. <laughs> We got the angel cream and the pondelon rings as well as a strawberry donut and I would say the pondelon ring was the best. It was chewy and not greasy in the best way. The strawberry glazed donut was okay. It tasted a little too artificial for me. It kind of reminded me of the pocky sticks that are covered in strawberry glaze. So we're at a ramen shop and we are about to order. Um, apparently, we use a vending machine to order, so that's pretty cool. Number four is right here. Do I press it two times? Yeah. Yep. Wait till the thing comes out. Can I press it again? Our first vending machine. Yay. I like they give you change in bills. really good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I recommend this place guys. And the spicy miso ramen actually is a little spicy. I like that. Uh -huh. We just found vending machines that sell tonkatsu sandwiches, which is pretty cool. The sandwiches come in little boxes and they're freshly made by headquarters nearby, so they're still warm. And apparently commuters will get these on their way to work. <laughs> if I wasn't full, I would get one, but I'm too full. I can't really judge you guys, but it looks like that and it's great. This place is so cute. I know. We went to Udon Shin for lunch the next morning and we got there at 10.40 a.m. because we were told that the lines are pretty crazy. So first thing we did was get a ticket from the queuing box and we were told we had to wait two hours somewhere else, which was fine because we ended up getting coffee and doing a little shopping while we waited.
So this is the famous carbonara pasta. Where's the bacon though? Look at that guys. This is the hot udon with the uh, special butter and special egg. Butter. I think you're supposed to mix it. It's very hot actually. Um, just gonna mix the egg and the butter together. There's a little bit of soup on the bottom. Uh, I think I just have to mix it like that. Oh, look at that. hasn't been uh, renovated since World War II. So it's not really up to date in terms of fire and safety, but very cute. A lot of these places can only seat maybe like five to six people. Yeah, some of these bars I feel like can only fit maybe like three to four people. It's so tiny. This one is the teriyaki McBurger. I'm gonna try the shrimp filet burger. Buddha shoyu ramen. They actually have a fish based broth. Um, they had a really long wait outside, so it must be good. This is their grilled pork rice. Yeah. 